Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin Johnson and uh, it's the magic moment again. We got a brand new guitar in the studio. Today we got another one from Baldacci Guitars and uh, we're about to check out one of their brand new Sunburst uh, solid body models. So let's dig in. Yeah, look at that thing. That thing is a beast. Let's let it loose. Man, that uh, sunburst is just on fire. That is looking so bright, so vivid. That uh, high gloss finish there is just like, it looks like water. It looks like the surface of water. It is just so nice. I love this uh, flame maple binding too. You know, binding always does a, a great job of, of sort of uh, spotlighting the contour of the guitar and really letting the contour and the shape of that body punch out. And when they do the binding with like a nice wood like that, like a flame maple, it, it just makes it even cooler because it showcases those wood grains and that natural wood look. Man, that is nice. And so that top right there is flame maple, uh, as you can tell, and uh, the back and the neck are both uh, mahogany. The neck and the back also have this really nice satin finish. It's super comfortable. So check out these tuners up here. These are uh, lock top, press fit, Buffalo tuners. So they make these uh, tuners specifically at Baldacci Guitars. Why are they called Buffalo tuners, you ask? Well, it's because, because of the of buffaloes, buffaloes, baby. <laughs> and one of the things I know about Baldacci from playing a couple of their guitars um, is that they really look for opportunities like the tuners to enhance tone and sustain basically like any place they can. These pickups are two humbuckers. They're made by Dark Moon pickups. And Baldacci Guitars worked really closely with Dark Moon to voice these pickups specifically for their guitars. So as far as wiring, you can kind of get an idea of what the wiring might be by looking at the knobs here. We've got a volume knob, a tone knob right here. We got a three-way toggle switch, which you'd expect from a, a two pickup guitar like this. But then you have this little switch down here. And what this switch does, it actually coil splits the neck pickup only. So it turns that humbucker into a single coil. And that's pretty unique. You know, a lot of times when you have coil splits, on a guitar like this that has two humbucker pickups. Generally, that'll turn both uh, humbucker pickups into two single coils. This one's unique in the sense that this uh, neck pickup can become a single coil, but the bridge pickup remains a uh, humbucker. And if you're like the vampire that lives in my attic, you know that there's only one way, one way to get real vintage guitar tone on a new guitar like this. What is it, Vlad? Paper and oil capacitors. That's right, paper and oil capacitors. And this baby's got them. Anyways, it looks killer. It feels great. I'm excited to play it. Let's plug it in and check it out. I'm just gonna get to know it, um, go through a few settings and see what it sounds like. <laughs> Man, that's killer. You know, these respond so well and they sound so vintage. Uh, that's, that's the first impression I got from the last Baldacci that I played. It just sounds old, you know? It's really hard to get that kind of tone from a new instrument, from new wood. And I mean, this thing is fresh off their bench. Like you can still smell the, the paint drying. It's awesome. And yet it sounds like it's got this soul and this personality that's taken years to develop. I especially like that setting where um, you get the humbucker on the bridge and you get the single coil on the neck. Uh, it's in the middle position here with the coil split engaged. Listen to the difference in this middle position 
of when I have it in full humbucker mode or when I have it in single coil humbucker mode. So I'm gonna start out with the coil split engaged. So this is gonna be a single coil on the neck and a humbucker on the bridge. <laughs> Now I'm gonna flip it to full humbucker mode. Back to single coil humbucker. Back to humbucker. Oh man, it's just got that fatness. You know, when you lock in that full humbucker mode, it's just like a milkshake. It's just thick, it's creamy, it's so good. It's got that sustain, that voice kind of carries. You get the brightness from the maple, you get the darkness and the body from the, the mahogany on there. It's just like that classic rock and roll formula, you know, when it's done well, it, it just can't be beat, it's so good. <laughs> All right, now let's check out that neck position right here. This is gonna be a little bit warmer, and I'm gonna start it off on the single coil um, setting with the uh, coil split right here, and then I'm gonna flip it into humbucker. We're gonna go between those two settings. Also, I'm gonna do some finger picking on this sample just to kind of hear the sensitivity of it. I like to hear what it, what it responds like when you play really quietly, and then sort of dig in and hear the difference in those. So again, single coils first. <laughs> Go to that humbucker. That's exactly what you want in a neck pickup. You want it to sound warm. You want it to sound vocal. Um, you know, the neck pickup is like the mellow pickup. The bridge pickup is bright, twangy, plucky, better for lead. But with the warm, when you want to play that kind of vocal lead guitar, you need that neck pickup, but you need it to be clear. You need it to be bright enough to give you the definition from the low notes, to give you some separation and chords between notes. And this does a great job of doing that. Listen to the separation in notes when I hold a bass note and then I play some lead on top of that.
not lacking anything on body, but it's not muddy. It's not just a big, uh, you know, kind of mess in the low mids. That's really good. And, you know, I think that is a good sign that they're choosing their pickups right, that they've done a good job of working with Dark Moon to really voice these pickups for the scale length and for this type of guitar. All right, time to get uh, into some lead tones. Let's go to this bridge pickup here. Of course, this only has one mode. This is going to be a humbucker full time. So regardless of whether that coil split switch is up or down, that's going to be the same for the bridge pickup. Let me actually start wide open on the tone knob. It'll be very bright. Um, I almost always dial the tone knob back with the bridge. Let's just hear some of that range in the tone. That is a great arc as far as like how much that tone knob affects the tone. When you can roll it and it sounds like a wah-wah pedal and it's smooth from like the, the two extreme points, it's like a smooth gradient between those, that's a really well-wired tone knob. Check that out. That is awesome. I can already tell this has like that spaghetti western bridge pickup. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to throw on some more reverb and uh, get into the mood here. So there it is guys, that is the Bighorn Standard from Baldacci Guitars. Want to thank them, I uh, want to thank Guitar World, and most of all, want to thank you guys for watching. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, keep coming back, and keep rocking you guys. Thanks. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.